All right, in this one, we're going to create a model in Django and display it in a Django template page. All right, so in these videos for the Django series, I'll start by showing you the completed code, and then later on we'll come back and write the completed code from scratch. So the context for this problem is that we're going to have a website of veterinarians, and we're going to display all the veterinarian names that are contained in a database with a table called veterinarian. All right, uh, here is the code that we're going to eventually create. We have an HTML page called a template when we put it into the Django framework. And within this web page called list vets or veterinarians.html, we see um, some regular HTML and then a for loop contained in this interesting syntax. And then right here, we're displaying individual objects. So what's going to happen is we're going to create a complete list of veterinarians from our veterinarian table and put it in a list so it'll be a list of objects and we can simply loop through it and display each item this way. All right. Um, whenever we have a template we have to display it with a view so here's the view that we're going to be using it's list pets vets page view and as part of this method we first return all of the veterinarians from a database table through its model and then we take that list and we assign it to a variable and then we pass it into a page that gets rendered. So here's the, page, here's the line that's going to render and display a particular page. And now in order to display or run a particular view, we have to have a path to it. And so here will be the path. So if we type in our domain name forward slash list vets, it's going to call up that particular method that particular function from our views file. All right, in order to create our uh, model, our, our table of veterinarians on the back end, we're going to have a models.py file in our app, and it's going to look like this, but without that nice handy page break right there. Um, so it says veterinarian, and it's just got two fields in there. Now, on the back end, there is an ID field that implicitly gets created and incremented, but we don't have to worry about that. Um, we're just going to be interacting with those two variables and those variables are the ones that get displayed in our HTML page right there, first name and last name. All right, and once we have uh, created a model that gets turned into a table for our website, we have to, you know, if, if we want to add records to this table in the admin area of Django, then we have to register this model in this file called admin.py. And so we basically just import a reference to the model's name, and then we say register it. And then here are going to be some key commands that I'm going to use as part of this video. All right, you've seen the code, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to have to resize just a tiny little bit here. So you're going to need to start with a basic uh, Hello World application. And... Um, if you need to know how to do that, I've included a video down below in the description. Um, because the context for this is we're going to be creating a bunch of veterinarians. I'll call this the veterinarian project. And so I've got a basic setup where my app is called main. My HTML pages will be in this templates main folder. And then this is the administration area and files for the project. Okay. so. Um, with that being said, the first thing I need to do is change my working directory to my project directory. So I'm going to change directory, veterinarian project. So now I can directly call this uh, manage.py file by typing python space manage.py. And my working directory is the same folder that uh, that program is in. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the administrative area of my website. Um, that is done by creating a database and putting a user in it that is used for logging into the website. And so I do that by typing python manage.py migrate. So that just um, ran a bunch of SQL commands and put it into this little uh, database that's right here. Now, if I were doing this not for a demonstration, but if I were doing it on a production website, I would prefer to use a commercial database. Uh, this one is just a text file that uh, comes with Django. 
but uh, typically you'd want to use something like Postgres or Oracle or MySQL. Um, but it's a lot easier for, for teaching purposes and for learning uh, to do this. But when you need to change it, let me just show you where you would where you would change it in the long run. You come over here to settings and uh, find databases. And so with just a couple little different um, lines here, you can say, hey, go hit my production database instead rather than the little text one locally. But this is perfectly fine. It doesn't change any of the functionality for this demonstration. Okay, I need to put a user in there. So I'll do python manage.py create super user. Now I'm not going to log in as them yet, but uh, I'll create their information for later. I'll use password one just so I can remember what that password is. Okay, ready to go. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my table. So I'm going to go over here to my brand new, basically empty app, and I'm going to come over here to models. And it says create your models here. And just to make my typing go faster, I'm going to copy paste. Here it is. I'm going to, I can do this as many times as I want to for as many different tables as I want. Um, but this is a model which becomes a table on the back end, and it's going to be called veterinarian. And basically, it just has two columns that I care about, which are first name and last name. And when it's displayed in the admin interface, I can manipulate how that, that shows up as a list of records. And I decided I'm going to make it be first name, space, last name. All right, so good to go there. Might even close that file. All right, now, now let me go to this. Um, well, actually, let me go ahead and just make that on the back end. So I'm going to run that file and create the table in the database. So this is how I do that. I run python manage.py make migrations. So that makes um, SQL statements that have not been run yet, but they're prepared to run. And then I name the app where the models file has been updated. There we go. Um, that little command right there tells me that it made a file that has a SQL statement in it that's about to be run. And so I will, I'm going to actually up click on my arrow a few times to this command I used earlier, python manage.py migrate, and then actually runs any latent SQL commands sitting in files that are needed to be run. And so because I didn't get any error messages, I know that there is now a veterinarian table uh, that is in my little text file database. If I was using a better database, it would be a real database um, with a table in it, but all good. Okay, um, now I can't add records through the admin interface until I register uh, this model with the admin interface. So I go over here to admin, and here it says register your models here. All right, so there's two things I have to do as part of that. First off, to this file, I have to import the veterinarian model. And then I have to say I want to register the specific veterinarian model. So now that it's registered, I am now able to view it from the admin portion of the website. So let's go ahead and try that out. I'll start my website, python manage.py, run server 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 all right, let's go see what we've got. Here's my web page, and there's my Hello World page, and I'm going to type in admin, and it, I'm going to type in root, and don't need that. Don't need that. All right, so here is the admin portion of my website that comes with every Django project, and because I registered my table or my model, I now have this little area called main and I can start adding records. So let's go ahead and add some records to this table and I'll do Jennifer Wool. She is actually a vet. Whoops. Actually, let's put her first and last name on different lines. She's my aunt. Uh, let's do somebody else, Harry, dog lover, not a real person. But now there are two records in a table that I can look forward to displaying on a web page. And if I wanted to, I could update their information. 
Okay, with that done, knowing that there is data in the database table, let's move forward with creating the templates or HTML pages that are going to display this on a page. So I come back out to here and I'm going to go into my templates folder and in the folder for main I'm going to create another file and I'm going to call this list vets for veterinarians not veterans of wars dot HTML and to save typing time I will copy paste and there is my code so most of this is just plain HTML and then there's this for loop right here so we're jumping into some Django basically or so into some Python basically by having this curly brace percentage now there's a limited number of commands that we can type in you, you don't get to actually type anything in Python in some programming languages you can within your template pages you know do a certain uh, syntax and then do any programming code you want but Django locks it down so that you can only do certain things such as display text or begin and end a for loop etc and they do this for to, to try to enforce good programming habits um, and to reduce the complexity of what's going to happen in your template page but at any rate um, assuming that there is a list called veterinarians here's the loop through it here's where you end the loop and then um, these double curly braces surrounding any variable name are what causes a variable to display out to the page I just put a hyphen in there that's just plain HTML or gets rendered that way and a line break so these are actually variables uh, two variables right next to each other that get displayed over and over again all right I'm gonna go ahead and hit save on that now if you remember anytime you have a page that you want to display uh, you need uh, a few things. One, you need the template or the HTML page. Two, you need a view in your app. And three, you need a path to your view. So let's go ahead and create both of those. So first thing is I'm going to go over to main and open up views. And I'm going to, right now there's a uh, basic HTML page that's being viewed. And I'm going to add one other item so here will be a new function and um, something else I want to do in here is I'm gonna say from models oops, import veterinarian okay so now it's gonna be aware of the veterinarian class all right, so we, we come down here, and this is a going to be a, a method that we can call, and uh, we can refer to it in, in our urls.py file, but let's just uh, see what it does. If we have a generic page where we don't do anything special, we just basically say return render in the name of that HTML page. So we, we have the name of our view, and we have the file that we are returning, but we have a few other things that are listed here. Um, one of them is a third variable. So this is a dictionary object, and this just basically is going to end up holding any variables that we want to be displayed in the page. And in this case, we want to have a veterinarian's variable, which is of the type list that we're going to want to pass in within that dictionary object. So there it is. And then this line right here is special. Um, we say veterinarian.objects.all. This is a special model or table call that just says give me everything within the veterinarian model and the veterinarian model is backed up by a veterinarian table and we're just saying give me all of the rows of data in there put it into this variable called data which is basically a list of objects and then uh, pass it in and so that's how that magic happens okay now in order to be able to use this view we need to create a path to it so we come to this page and we need to do two things first off in order to reference it when we um, include a path to it in a minute we're gonna have to import that actual function so that this page is available is aware of it and then I'll say path and we'll say when somebody types in list vets we want them to see the list vets page view 
and uh, this part is for making links within these pages, uh, but we're not making a link today, so we won't worry about it. But All right, note that uh, I didn't do name equals veterinarians, so it's about right. to crash uh, uh -oh. right there. It looks like I've got some error. Um, let's see, what, what have I done wrong here? There we go. I forgot to write name equals. I got so busy explaining um, the whole thing about links that I forgot to write name equals. Okay, so with that being done, if I hit save, and it looks like I may have crashed my... Uh, back in there. Let's see if I can just reload it and if it'll work. Let's try list vets. Okay, nope, it's crashed. So I'll do control C, run it one more time, and then reload. All right, we're good to go. Okay, so I just had that little error right there related to my link, but other than that, everything worked great. So I hope this helps you out a lot. Uh, I'm going to include the code down in the comments so that you can do this yourself. And have a great one. See you in the next video.